Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. Um, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channels all, channel always. Look at me running through words again today. I hope you all are staying blessed and highly favored. Let's go ahead and get into this read. What we're going to be doing is looking into a wife character that's highly, extremely mentally unstable. This woman is in a community. She may be trying to block someone from coming towards you to, I don't know if either to apologize to you, make something fair, whatever this is. We're going to go and get ahead, go ahead and get into this wife character. This is a religious lady or whatever this is, because I keep seeing this ten of, ten of swords in the reverse. This means that this is a false religious person that pretends to be a queen of cups, but is toxic as can be. And people need to learn how to hold back from this woman because this is someone that is as malicious as they get. Someone is out here self-sabotaging and they've been doing this for year, years. This could be a woman that's been creating fake profiles and is into some type of dark magic. Um, someone is Christian by day on Sunday and the rest of the time she's into something else. Okay, this could even be someone that's been paying for a lot of stuff to be done in your life. Like someone is a bad SHIT crazy stalker and she has been stalking another woman online for days and someone for I hear years, year, couple of years. For all of you, it's going to be different amount of times. Someone is immature as heck. Someone is disloyal. Someone saw you as someone that was like very youthful like you invested in your life you had a lot going on for yourself you were very open-minded secure within yourself um didn't really have any time to be competing with people like you may have extended some type of very genuine friendship to someone and instead of them returning that same thing they return this energy immaturity someone is unbalanced and emotionally insecure okay someone's wife is out here a whole voodoo priestess Someone goes to practitioners or she may be a practitioner herself. And again, this is someone that plays Christian by day on Sundays. And then she's something else at night. This could be someone that's even into like some type of graveyard magic. Okay. Um, there, there's a community behind the scenes that's trying to pay someone to break some type of promise because the Knight of Pentacles has to do with a promise. They're trying to block someone from giving you a promise they want someone to disappoint you reject you and uh leave you in isolation or something like that if you are in isolation this is what they're trying to do they don't want someone coming towards you to give you some type of uh equal give and take whatever this is they don't want someone communicating with you there is a queen of wands behind the scenes that is burning as heck someone is worried because i don't know what the heck she and this masculine has going on it's that they both it's like they're intertwined one if one shows up uh in a download the other one shows up so she wants people to believe that she and this masculine are twin flame not that the community really cares but a sister wants everyone to know that a masculine yeah she and the masculine are twin flame but it looks like he's moving on with his life um he may have been plotting a queen of pentacles ending but he's gonna have to walk away from that because it's a little bit too much of a burden on him this could be someone that i don't know what this is i, I don't know what this is these people's energy are a little bit too much for me but there is a wife energy within a community that is into voodoo and that's the God's honest truth. She does not want someone coming towards you to apologize. She may have even been planning to come into your energy, come towards you to apologize, but it was not a sincere apology. I'm also being told the reason why this woman does not want someone coming towards you to apologize or why she was trying to rush in to come in and give you an apology is because there's some type of legal violation that she did towards someone or against someone and this can have to do with defamation slander or something of that sort invading someone's privacy like someone what i keep hearing is that a, a white figure of someone a whole empress out here has been creating fake profiles to antagonize someone online to uh, uh pretend to be someone online communicating with other people so let's say like you're on tiktok or something and you have a large following or your following is growing this woman will have created multiple uh, uh, accounts and things like that. Tried to make it seem like it was people within this community, but it wasn't them. Okay. Like if you had a supervisor, she would have created like a profile to make it seem like it was your supervisor following you. She, <coughs> excuse me. 
If you were close to someone at work, she would have created a profile in that person's name to make it seem like it was them that was following you and antagonizing you. But this is a whole wife character um, that's been doing this and she does not want someone coming towards you to balance something out, okay? Because this is someone that's into spiritual practices, but she pretends that she's Christian or something of that nature, okay? And this woman knows that you are aware um, that she's been doing this and he, she knows that if this person comes towards you, you will be revealing something that she's been doing, some type of work she's been doing behind the scenes. And this is someone that's crying a lot because whoever she's trying to block is still coming in full force. Um, maybe they're leaving an institution, going through some type of healing, trying to push force their way through some type of barrier people are putting in their pathway. It's like you're trying to take initiative to balance something out and you have a group of people taking action to block you from doing something. Um, but this is the most high acting. It's like every action people are taking, this is the most high taking charge of the situation and bringing some type of balance into it. Um, this woman has been doing a lot behind the scenes that people are not aware of and everything will be exposed. If she's not careful, someone could end up going through some type of separation. And again, this woman is worried. She's in some type of mental imprisonment. Someone could be worried about having a lot of legal issues coming in because she did violate someone's privacy. So she's afraid that if this man comes towards you, you're going to end up suing her, which I don't blame you because she did possibly steal something from you lied on you sneak you or something like that and the truth is coming out and she does not want this community knowing so every time this man takes action she steps in to cause some type of uh, blockage try to uh, weigh him down she'll like try to soft talk him sweet talk him out of taking action to come towards you this could be a kink of wands that she's doing this to and maybe people are not aware but i guess after this video they'll find out how much of an anxiety this woman is in this is absolutely someone's wife that made some type of decision to cause a lot of illusions and she's been stalking someone online this is a healer this woman has been stalking okay um and the truth will come out i'm telling you the truth is going to come out the truth is also coming out about your character that you are someone very genuine a healer very nurturing uh, so that means that if this is coming out now this means that the fact that you are being shown as someone who is a healer means that this woman has been lying about you to people in this community, basically playing the whole community, um, but making it seem that she's your friend. You know, she has some type of, I'm telling you, some type of information on you, but she does not. Someone is trapped mentally um, and they're trapped because someone is standing their ground and they're still going to be taking action to balance something out. So whatever he's about to do is going to lead to some type of court case against her. And this is what she's afraid of. So if you are a masculine trying to go to someone to apologize uh, for betraying like a connection you and someone had, and the, there's a woman that's trying to talk you out of it. This is why she's talking you out of it because she knows that whoever you are going through is aware of the illusions. That's what the illusion she's been causing when it comes to their character. And she's been watching them causing conflict in this person's life with a group of other people. Someone got everyone on the bandwagon to disturb someone else's life. An actual Empress Energy who is a healer and is the love choice for someone because this is some type of divine union and people are having a some type of some type of epiphany about this empress energy and know and learning that there are someone who is like an ascended master and has some type of foresight into the future they are extremely gifted and very skilled at what it is they do yeah very skilled in and in gifted at what it is they do and people have been taking actions behind the scenes to temper with this woman's work so Whoever this is that's taking charge to come in and tell you the truth to clarify things, to clear things out with you. They are coming in quickly. This is someone going through some type of ascension, leaving these people out in the cold and trying to just, you know, get to his destination because they have been making it extremely hard. And this man said he does not care how difficult he it is. He's still going to go for it. So he could be coming towards someone who is like an independent character. Uh, someone is self-sufficient and is not looking for handouts from people. Maybe he wants to give to you to balance something out. They may want to compromise with you again to get things moving in the right direction. Maybe someone wants to work with you. Absolutely, they want to work with you. This is a plan that they've come up with to come in and apologize to you so that you two can take some 
some type of different path, work together because someone knows well you are very creative and abundant and you are very gifted and you have a lot of growth and acceleration coming your way and it's keeping this woman, this wife, uh, uh, and a queen of wands. It's a whole community, a whole group of people, a group of friends that got together, came up with some type of plan and it's not going the way they planned it. Right. They were expecting you basically their burden. Right. They have anxiety to worry and everything because what these people thought that you were going to lose everything. These are people that have been bribing um, someone behind the scenes to break some type of commitment to you. So let's say it's a relationship. You're with someone and they tell you, you know, maybe they propose to you or something and say that, hey, we're going to get married. You choose the wedding date and you start planning. And then they want him to go ahead and retract and say that he does not want to marry you anymore. Um, this could be like a position at work as well let's say your supervisor your manager or something tells you that they think you will be great for a promotion or something but then these people come in from behind the scenes and try to pay him so that he can break a promise and keep you trapped and in some type of deplorable state um, just so that they can test you and also see how it is that you're still going to be standing up to defend yourself basically these people want you to be destroyed your path your life everything they want you in this energy and this eight of swords energy that is what they've been doing out here and then someone was supposed to come in to take you out okay um uh, i wouldn't be so yeah this is someone that's in a re into rituals this wife character into rituals faithfully Someone is intimidated by other women she thinks that her marriage is some type of advantage over other women like someone does not like independent women she does not like women that are doing good for themselves and this is because someone is dealing with insecurities and things like that someone is mentally unstable emotionally unstable someone is absolutely into some type of dark, dark form of magic someone could even have like a uh uh what is it a closet you know those uh witches the dark witches a dark witch closet honey i don't know what to call it because it does not resonate with my soul i don't need a, a, a closet or anything like that i have an altar that i have crystals on that's about it like things that have sentimental values to them for me is what i put on my altar so if it's like an amethyst crystal due to my soul guy being a, a, a purple in the you know in the um spirit realm uh just like coarse crystal because they're good for clarity things like that is what i have on my crystal outside of that i don't got nothing else this will be someone that has like pictures of people on their altar that they spend send negative energy to someone may even have like dolls of you you the divine feminine that she's stabbing and things like that that someone has something of your essence that they are keeping and have been sending some type of negative energy to some type of conflicting energy to because they want you to be mentally unstable someone does a lot of projection energy right they project a lot onto someone else and you don't even pay this person any mind you may not even know who this cray cray is but someone has been focused on you i don't know yeah you don't even pay attention to this person look at this beauty right here got her face turned somewhere else and said, i'm too busy for this i'm too bougie for this like i got better things going on in my life okay like i have a busy life going on i got things going on you know i'm focused on my life my business you know bringing balance into my uh arena and things like that and then she's out here focused on you stalking you and someone has been into self sabotage watching a long time someone has martyred themselves there's no way out of whatever this is that she's created for herself and this is why every time a masculine takes action uh talks about taking action to come in and balance something out this they start trying to what act like they're supporting you like they'll speak to this man in a way where it makes it seem like they are advocating for you supporting you or something like that someone may want to come towards you with a contract and again i keep telling you all on this channel do not sign a contract with anyone Someone should be, if, if someone genuinely wants to work with you, they will find a way to work with you without a contract. Okay. A lot of us, and I, I don't want to like slow your horse. A lot of us are not doing jobs and things like that, where we have to sign contracts with other people. So if someone is coming towards you with a contract, that should be alarming. Okay. Especially like in spirituality, what aspect of spirituality do you really need a contract for? If you're doing readings, your clients, your customers should be able to get a hold of you and you do those readings, right? You don't need a contract. But this is when like someone will come in with a whole from a whole institution or something and they want to come and give you a contract so you can do readings for them 
uh, on behalf of their company like you're the face of the company you do readings and things like that and they say oh we want to offer you a two-year contract you don't need a contract with these people you don't need a contract with anyone but the universe because there's some type of ulterior motive behind a contract someone wants to come towards you with okay so someone may be taking action now to come towards you when this truth because there's some type of clarity that's going to be brought out to a community about some type of offer and what actions are narcissistic woman uh, someone's wife and a group of other people have been taken behind the scenes to hold someone's well abundance back to keep someone from being able to thrive in life and you will be receiving communication about this situation what a family has been doing but there is going to be some communication to you about a ten of pentacles uh, or from a ten, ten of pentacles energy that may want to work with you or something like that i don't know if this is someone from this community or a different community but someone wants to communicate to you about your gifts and things like that being in the upright that like you are a high priestess that does things in the upright okay that you're not out here on no voodoo he do she do code do we don't do over here stuff kind of, uh, kind of stuff okay so you are a high priestess in the upright you have integrity there's a woman this wife here i don't know if she considers herself a, a, a voodoo priestess or whatever this is someone is not in the upright someone all she does is mislead someone is very charming with words and it could be like soft spoken and things like that um and when they talk to you it makes it seem like they're really mellow nonchalant but someone is bad as ish at crazy behind the scenes someone's husband may even be uh fed up with them um from what i'm hearing but this is someone that is used to self-sabotage this is all they do but they do it from behind the scenes and because they've never been cut doing it this is someone that's been doing this for a long time and this is the god's honest truth all someone knows how to do is to self-sabotage but the truth is being exposed people that were in the dark before they're about to find the truth out about what a woman has been doing behind the scenes the spirit is uh, revealing the truth. People may be having some type of epiphany that she has been stalking someone on actual empress energy and trying to block someone's new beginning, trying to steal your new beginning and things like that. And this is someone very karmic. She lies a lot. She either lies to a king of source or about a king of source as well everyone in this community this woman is playing like a tuba someone has even been doing spells behind the scenes to block people's destiny and i think i picked up on this woman before in one of my readings someone is burning uh someone is about to understand exactly what it is that she tried to put someone through so if you were in like a community and someone tried to isolate you based on lies and things like that she's about to go through the same thing okay and an emperor will see the truth about this and know exactly everything this woman has been doing and there's something where she's pissed off like she does not want an emperor to see you as someone that's very what multifaceted someone very gifted very intellectual like like you like are like a thinking machine you always have some type of idea going on and it's pissing her off so every time he brings you up every time he brings you up talks about you is that she wants him to see you in this light she wants you wants him excuse me to see you as like a devilish energy she'll lie to him about you something like that but he knows the truth this man knows the truth he may even be separating himself from her there's something where it's like whatever interaction they have whether they're friends or whatever colleagues whatever this uh dynamic is He's about to be like distancing himself from her. Like he's going to keep it professional. It's about to be one of those things where it's like, if it's not about the money, don't call me, don't text me, don't bother me, something like that. Because he sees right through a woman now or he's about to. And because now she knows he does not want to communicate with her what she's going to do. Because I'm looking in, I'm like, I can see this woman's mind and how she, it works. She's going to try to send a friend in. Excuse me, my, they must not be friends after all. Because th that finger said, uh-uh she's going to try to send a friend in to talk to him. So she's about to be communicating with him through a third party, basically. Like someone is crazy and I don't even, yeah, someone is crazy. I'm telling you, every time this man, this emperor wants to communicate with you, right? She gets pissed off. She does not want this man to see you as an equal. She said, no, this person is not your equal. You need to hold back from them. They're going to cause you burdens and things like that. But this man knows the truth. Someone like admires your strength. They may want to come in and give you an offer of partnership. It does not have to be love, whatever this is. Um, but there is something where it is that she's in some type of silent competition with you. Um, someone is that why does she get to be single and happy and fulfilled and then get all of these offers? 
uh, why does he, if you are a masculine, why does he get to be single, sufficient, and get all of these offers? And that's because someone is healed and you're not. And someone is out here living in their purpose. You're not, okay? This woman has been working with a queen of wands behind the scenes. It's like th this dynamic, some type of collaboration is going to be exposed. And this emperor is going to be in some type of denial. Like, nah, these two ain't working together. Yes, they are, sir. Yes, they are. Both of them are narcissists. They've been working together to destroy someone else's life because they don't want to see someone else fulfill in life. There's one that's pretending to be holier than thou. There's one out here pretending to be an empress energy. Uh, honey, and then there's another one that's just bad s -H -I -T, crazy, emotionally unstable, and they're all losing their minds. They're everything behind the scenes, right? Because the truth is being illuminated by what a whole community was doing to one person, okay? And you will be receiving communications divine feminine divine masculine that's going to be exposing the truth whoever's supposed to be coming towards you will be going for it in divine timing so i wouldn't worry about it be cautious of someone trying to take some type of action to come towards you to cause you some type of ending or put an end to your new beginning because they may know that someone else wants to work with you so they may want to take some type of action yeah there is someone that's like an ascendant master someone that's balanced within themselves someone that has mastered themselves that wants to work with you sees you as an option they may just be a little bit afraid to talk to you, make you this offer because they don't know if you're going to reject them. They see you as a queen of pentacles, queen of cups. Someone may be a little smitten by you, but they are afraid that you are going to reject them. Okay. Um, but honey, whoever, and again, there goes our apology card. Someone wants to come and apologize to you. And every time he takes initiative to come in, this is what's going on. They're blocking him and causing him burdens. They don't want him taking action. They say, because you're a problem, you've been doing this and you've been doing that. You betrayed him. You said this about him. You said that about him. And all of that is a God dang lie. It's a bull faced lie. Someone didn't say nothing about a man. Someone is not someone's enemy. I don't know what this is, but it's a whole community that's in on that's in on to something, right? They're in on it. Whatever this is, they're in on it. This is what someone does not know. That this this whole situation has been orchestrated by a whole group of people. So it's no secret to them. It may be a secret to you. Maybe you've been living in the dark, whoever you are. But this whole community, they know. They know. They know exactly what has been going on. Okay? Yes, I'm telling you. This woman is trapped in her mind about a healer. Let someone being seen as someone that's in the upright. Because if you go and tell people someone is delusional, someone is karmic, someone is un un unstable, someone is mentally unstable, someone is disloyal, you tell them all of that and then someone goes and does their own investigation, right? And finds out that you've been lying the whole time and that someone is solid as a rock, someone is a healer, someone is pure hearted, someone is kind. Someone is loyal. They're the opposite of everything you've told. Now you got to come in there and try to what? Interfere because you've done a lot behind the scenes to interfere with someone's energy. You don't want them being optimistic in life. Uh, you've stolen a lot from someone. You've blocked someone from being able to, from being able to be seen. So that means that someone is doing some type of work out here in the public and there are people doing something to interfere. Like playing around with someone's work and things like that whether it's a business a position a platform whatever this is people have been doing things behind the scenes to block someone's work from being seen and there is someone behind the scenes maybe a group of people are not going within to see things from a higher perspective and they take a different path okay this could be a whole family um but whoever's mental this is they are extremely trapped in their mind someone is crazy and i don't know if this is something she's been able to hide her whole life but someone is unstable. Like someone needs to go get checked out by like a, a medical, like a psychiatrist. This is how crazy someone is. They need to go and get checked out by a psychiatrist. Okay. This could be even a couple of people in this community, especially like a queen of wands. There's a wife character. There's a queen of pentacles in the reverse in a community as well. The three of them needs to go get checked out by a psychiatrist. And I bet you, They'll come up as unstable. Like they need some type of medication or need to be put into some type of a mental asylum because these women are unstable. There could be a queen of cups in there too. Honey, I don't know. But all of these women are narcissists. 
a narcissist. They may be trying to block a freaking, yeah, they're trying to block a king of wands from putting an end to a chapter. Someone could be losing his emotions because he may have what? Betrayed someone he thought did something to him and they never did anything to him. So this could be this person that's taking action to come in. Be mindful with this masculine as well because he's into causing illusions and things like that. He may want to come in and give you an offer. Maybe he'll spoil you for a while so that he can have victory with you. But I see someone as being an energy that's very impulsive. So just be cautious because there's some type of plot that a, 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 a emperor is planning. And he could be this emperor showing up in his king of wands energy. But he's coming in to weigh you down. So just be cautious. And this is why I keep saying don't be... Don't be in a hurry for love or whatever this is. I'm telling you, they've been causing stalemates. This is all they wish for, how to cause stalemates in your life. Because all of them, they're burdened by your existence. The fact that you're in the upright. And what I'm hearing is that you are that one that brings the change. So there's something they're not expecting. All the lies, everything they've been doing is a failure, Okay. There's something where it's that people were trying to set something up where you were supposed to sit and watch someone get married to someone else. It's that like we don't give two Fs about that stuff. Like get married to whoever you want. They put it on the TV, record it, make Snapchats of it, make TikToks out of it, YouTube videos. Put it online so we can see. Congratulations. Nobody cares. But they wanted you unemployed, uh, unloved. They wanted you to sit back and watch your twin flame marrying someone else. And they said, well, nobody cares about any of that stuff. You all are worried about twin flame and having someone in your life. Not everybody is like that. So the things that matter to you all are not the same things that matter to other people. He was supposed to get married to a queen of cups. Reverse. Let's put that part there. And now they're fighting because, what well, you don't care. They're not able to temper with your energy. So they're out here, what? <laughs> Hanging and swinging in the egg. Okay, because the truth is, truth is out. This group is going to have to disperse at some point. At some point. They're fighting about how all of their betrayals and things like that to a temperance energy has failed. Like all the lies. Every, I'm telling you, everything these people were plotting for you has failed because your ancestors, the universe, keep stepping in to protect you. Is that someone may have even taken some type of reckless move to try to steal something from you, to disconnect you from your calling, your purpose, and all of that they didn't work. Like it backfired and it's going to keep backfiring everything they do. This is crazy. And you got a queen of wands behind the scenes that just, it's like her brain cells are just not functioning. Like the neurons are not traveling uh, easily. Like they're supposed to, there's some type of blockage. Okay, like when they're going through the channels, there's some type of blockage and they keep hitting a wall, it keep hitting a wall because someone's mental is just not where it's supposed to be. And she's stuck on stupid watching you trying to come up with ways on how she can defeat you and defeat this king of wands from coming towards you. I mean, in a sense, it's kind of a favor that they're trying to block this person from coming towards you because he doesn't have any good intentions for you anyway. So it's that whatever they choose to do, that's their business. But he wants to come in and give you some type of commitment, hoping that you'll see it as truth. There's something, there's something karmic about this man too that's coming towards you. Like, and I, every time I bring him up, I'm telling you, she, she wants to be talked about. Like she wants this man to see her as a twin flame. And it's like whoever she's competing with, not paying her any mind. They don't care who's who to inflame, who's who partners, what nobody cares. Like this is something she cares about. So she thinks you care about it. That is so delusional. She may even want to communicate with you, things like that, to talk, to tell you something about him, how he does this and how he does that. Like you don't know you're a freaking high, high priestess. You know, you know. It's like she wants to come in and say, oh, he betrayed you. He's been causing you endings. He has a lot of toxic ways. He sleeps around. He does this, blase, blase. Nobody cares, darling. Nobody cares. Keep it to yourself. We know you're doing that so someone can give you some type of Ace of Pentacles offer. It's a rejection. He doesn't want you. He's not giving it to you. And that divine feminine, that star seed, don't care either if... He gives it to her or not. You have been determined to defeat this very masculine that may have partnered up with you before. And now he's keeping his distance from you because he wants to have a new beginning with an Empress Queen of Cups energy. Right? Because he sees the truth now. And he may want to offer her some type of marital proposal. But there's something in here about this union. You need to be 
cautious of divine feminine. Do not be in a hurry to be in love with anyone. Okay, this is a whole community. I'm telling you, this is a whole community that is burdened about a chapter ending. You not being in some type of isolation anymore. You not being in anxiety. You not worrying anymore. Like you coming out of hiding. You coming out of the cold and things like that. This is what they're worried about. This is how low vibrational some of these people are. They say, oh, we got to find a way to keep her in the cold. We got to find a way to keep him in the cold. We got to find a way what to block their future, block these two from connecting. I mean, it's going to happen regardless. Whatever the universe decides is going to happen, it's going to happen. And there's a queen of wands still trying to cause illusions as I'm picking up. She said this new beginning cannot come through. So she made, I mean, it's going to happen, darling. I don't know what you want me to tell you. It's going to happen. Oh yeah, it's going to happen. 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 And it's another yes. And another yes. We can keep going there. Another yes. So it's going to happen. It don't matter what it is you do. It's all yes, yes, yes from the universe for some type of closure to take place. So these two, it's not like they have to end up together, but these two are going to meet up and there's going to be some type of closure because spiritually these two do have some type of contract. And so they may have to connect to come to some type of closure, have some type of forgiveness or something, some type of understanding, clarity in a matter so that his soul can embark on his journey because his soul is not on the journey that it's supposed to be on, that it's supposed to be on yet. This woman, whoever this is, since she's so showing up here um, in a star energy, she's already on her path, having new beginnings and stuff like that. And they're trying to complicate this new beginning, but she's already on her new beginning. So there's going to be some type of closure where these two are going to meet and he, and it's going to enable him to embark on his journey and then she can move on and he can move on. But I don't think these two are going to end up together like that. I don't know what this is. Like maybe they may work together in business and be very successful together in business. But as far as a relationship, I don't think this sister is looking for a relationship. It says your angels are watching over you and protecting you. So that means that someone may want to be coming in to do you something. And your angels are letting you know ahead of time that we're watching over you and protecting you. And ain't nobody going to do a goddamn thing to you. So anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.